Hello. Hello. <laughs> What's your name? Austin. Oh, thank you for coming to see me. You've got all these questions to ask me of you. Come on in then. How are you? What's your name? So my name is Pam and I've just been appointed as what we call the Chief Constable in Gwent, in Gwent Police. So I think it's really important, because I'm new in this role, that I listen to what you lovely people have to say. What do you think? Yeah? So I understand you've got some questions to ask me. So who's going to ask the first question? Right away, now then. So what is your question? Do you have a question for me? Do you carry a... Again, do I carry a gun? Well, that's a really good question. For first of all, I do not carry a gun. But, but, some of our officers do. So we have some very, very highly skilled officers who have to go to class regularly. And they have great teachers who actually make sure that they know all of the law, all of the law and everything that they can and cannot do to keep us safe, isn't it? So then if something happens in our communities, we make sure that those people who have the right equipment and who are trained to carry a gun attend to look after our people in the communities and our children and our grannies and our grandpas and our mums and dads and your friends so that we respond properly with the right skills, with the right skills and with the right equipment if we need a, if we need somebody there who knows how to use a gun. Yeah. Does that answer your question? Yeah. You sure? Is there another question you'd like to ask? Yeah. That's it okay for now, is it Bowden? Right, okay. Now then, who wants to ask the next question? Do you walk the police dogs? Well, I don't go walk in the police dogs but I'm a big supporter of police dogs and I love the police dogs. So what do you think our police dogs do? They, they run around. They run around, yes, go on. They sniff. They sniff, absolutely. So do you know you asked me a question about, about guns? Remember you asked me that question? I, I, I lost a busy like you one. Yes, good. <laughs> well, so when... So when our police dogs are trained, they are they're trained to sniff, like Austin said, yeah? And they basically manage then to find things like guns and some things that we shouldn't have. Our police dogs are fantastic, aren't they? And of course, you, when there's lots of people around, have you seen them in football matches as well? Mm -hmm. So there's lots of people around and we need to make sure that people are safe and we need to, need to make sure people are well behaved. We sometimes just have our police dogs there to make sure that if anything happens, they're in a position to respond, aren't they? Yeah. And sometimes, you know, if we need them to find something, if we needed a police dog to find you, yeah, perhaps we'd have your jumper and we'd ask the police dog to sniff your jumper and then you might be somewhere out of the way, but the police dog would be able to find you, even if you were playing the best hide and seek ever. They'd find you. And I made them thank you, doggy. Yes, and you'd say thank you, doggy. Absolutely. <laughs> what time do police officers go to bed? So police officers work something called shifts. Do you know what that means? So some police officers come in in the morning. Some people, police officers come in in the evening. I know, do you like it? And some people then work nights so that when we're all sleeping fast, when you're sleeping fast, there are police officers out there working hard to keep you safe. So tonight, yeah, last night was terrible weather, wasn't it? It was raining and pouring and I, the wind. I, I like the pouring and the wind. Yes. And whilst we were all snug in bed, the police officers, our brilliant police officers, were out there keeping our community safe. And I think they do a fantastic job. Do you fly the helicopter? Oh my goodness me. Do I fly the helicopter? What do you think? Um, all the time. All the time. <laughs> do you think I fly the helicopter? No. no. Why do you think I don't fly the helicopter? Because again, you need to be a pilot to fly a helicopter, don't you? Yeah. 
and we use police helicopters across Great Britain. Yes, so not just for Wales, in England as well. We, and we fly the helicopters. Why do you think we need a police helicopter? Because you want to fly. Because you want to fly, yes. Why do you think? So we can find people, perhaps who might be missing. What else do you think? Why, why would we use a police helicopter? So perhaps if there's something happening uh, on the ground and you've got a, ve a vehicle, a car with people in that we need to find, we sometimes put a police helicopter up to look for them or to look for people. But have you heard of something else which is a bit like a helicopter but much smaller that we use so that we can see what's happening from the sky? It's something called a drone. You've yeah. got it. Well yeah, done. Got... Sometimes we can put a drone up and, and, and we it... can look at everything to make sure everything is right. Why do you wear shoulder pads? Good question. Good question. So these are, if I take one of them off for you, they're called epaulets. Doesn't that sound a strange name? So basically, everybody in policing who wears a uniform needs to be identifiable to the public, so the public need to know who they are. And uh, usually police officers have a number, don't they? So when I first joined policing, my number was 824. Uh, and so now all of the insignia on my shoulder pads, my epaulets, um, explain what rank I'm actually at. So everybody in policing is identifiable to the public, so people know who you are. And obviously, because I wear a police uniform, it's important for people to know that I'm there to help them. Yes? So that's why we all wear our epaulets. And I'll call them shoulder pads from now on. <laughs> what do you think is the most important part of being the Chief Constable? That is a superb question. The most important part is that I look after the communities that we all serve. So at Gwent Police, we have uh, 1,330 members of police, police officers, and we have about 700 police staff who support police officers, and some of them answer the 999 calls, you know, people ring 999 and 101. So the most important role for a police constable is to first of all protect communities and to make sure that all of the police officers and police staff know that their role is also to protect communities. And a really important role that I have to do is to, is, I have, to have is to make sure that people have got the equipment that they need. So what do you think police officers carry with them, do you know? Taser. Taser, yes. What else do they carry? Handcuffs. Handcuffs. Um, uh a works phone, yes, yeah, so or radio, or to be able to communicate with each other. Uh, the gun. Sometimes they carry guns, a firearm. And there's something else which is really important that officers carry. They carry what's with body-worn cameras. Have you heard of that? So you'll see police officers carrying a camera, not because they want to spy on people, but that if something happens in the street, they put it on and it records as evidence, so it captures what people are doing. And then if people are being naughty, that can be used in evidence to take to court to bring what we call people to justice. So if people have, have been doing terrible things, we want to be sure we capture it so that we can say what people have been doing. Okay. So my role is to make sure we keep people safe, that police officers and staff have got the equipment that they need. And do you have... Do you have um, uh, pocket money? Yes. Yeah. And do you find that your pocket money sometimes doesn't last very long? Yes. Yeah. It's hard, isn't it? So in policing, as a chief constable, I also have a budget, which is an awful lot of money, but actually to be able to uh, deploy all of those staff that I've told you about, we need to be able to have lots and lots and lots of money to be able to do that properly, yeah? So I have to manage the budget to make sure that we provide a service to look after people in the communities. So those are the main things, although there's lots of other things that I do, but those are the main things that I do as a Chief Constable. How do I become a Chief? Right then, when can you start? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I think the main thing is to be a police officer, isn't it? So to become a police officer, uh, I think you have to really want to make a difference. 
So police officers, they look after people, they keep people safe, they look after people who have perhaps been victims of crime, and they enforce the law to make sure that our law in this country is enforced so that we can make sure that if people are naughty, they don't carry on being naughty because we don't want naughty people, do we, who do terrible things to other people, um, thinking they can just do that all the time. So I think the first step is to want to make a difference. The second thing is to work really hard. The third thing is to enjoy being a part of a team. So because in policing, <coughs> we all have to look after each other because you can't police the whole of Gwent with one person. You need lots of people to be able to work together, spread around the county, and make sure that we're looking after people and responding to incidents and 999 calls as well. So you need to be able to work as a part of a team. To be a chief constable, you don't have to be perfect. I'm certainly not perfect. I have a great team of people around me and, and they are the ones that really deliver for me. I support them and care for them and lead and make sure they know that they're very special. What inspired you to work in the police force? Just before joining the police service, I was qualifying to be a teacher. And I decided to try be, to, be, to be a special constable. Do you know what a special constable is? So I know, well, it's, they are special because they come in on their own time, they don't get paid, they put on a police uniform and they go out and support police officers. And I was a special constable for quite some time. And when I became a special constable, I decided, hmm, I quite like this. Policing is really good because you can make a difference. That words, those words come up again. So I decided to give it a go. And so I joined policing because I wanted to make a difference. And I really liked, do you watch programs about investigations where they put all of the evidence, police intercept and put all the evidence together? I really enjoyed, really enjoyed investigating crime because it meant that we could look after people, detect crime, and by detecting crime, we keep people safe and we bring people to justice. We make sure they don't carry on committing crime. So that's why I became a police officer. Are you planning on organising any more public activity? Like the Force, the force Open Day? Yeah. Without question. I think it's fantastic. Do you enjoy it? Yeah. So we will definitely have a Force Open Day next year. And I'd love you all to come along as well. That would be good. Um, and then we're looking for different ideas because we go out to communities for community shows and community events to speak to people. And I know that a lot of our um, community support officers and school liaison officers come, come into your school. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. Good. You, you get to know them, your communities, your uh, school liaison officers? Yeah. Good. And so I am looking at different ideas because not everybody wants to come and have a chat to the police, do they? So I'm really keen to sort of encourage people to come and have a chat with us. So if you have any other ideas, so I'm hoping to go out to communities and chat to people, um, then you, you let me know because I'm really interested in your views as well. But the force open day, without question. Without question, we'll get police dogs there and all of the fantastic cars that you saw and it's a lovely way to share what we do in policing. Well done. <laughs> I think they deserve a huge round of applause. Yeah.